Where churches were once a fixture of the town square, there's a vocal movement that's brewing to push any religion out of the public square, even from coffee cups. Whether it's a prayer in school, a display in a government building, or an elected official with outspoken beliefs, lines in the sand seem to be shifting as to how much religious liberty is acceptable and where people are allowed to practice their faith. Liberty is pitted against liberty in a conflict between freedom of religion and freedom from religion. But in a system governed by we the people, can you truly be free from religion when our democracy is populated with a majority of religious people? And on the flip side, can you enforce freedom from religion without establishing no religion as the state religion? Merry Christmas? That'd be me. Thanks. Outsmarted them. The state of churches today leaves a lot to be desired, and when churches aren't continually splitting apart, they may shut out any influence with people unlike themselves. Denominationalism becomes tribalism. A similar phenomenon is Christian nationalism that would enshrine stricter Christian ideals as law. It was Protestant nativists that revived the KKK, whose members included some of their ministers. Other groups target people to protest, using freedom of religion as their excuse to do so. Where churches in America were once instrumental in bringing people together and building communities, today, a broad diversity of American communities already brought together are now building churches. If you're someone who doesn't like to leave home or leave your car, a holy cowboy or a heaven's angel, it says something about the needs of the human heart to want to come together to find fellowship and meaning. This is even true among the most ardent non-believers. So what we've done is basically take all the best bits out of church and just get rid of the God bit. By best bits, Evans means creating a community with a focus on good and gratitude. We know that when people sing together, dance together, laugh together, it's a wonderful experience and shouldn't be monopolized by the religious. If it looks like a church, talks like a church, and acts like a church, but believes the opposite of a church, it still shows the divine wisdom in human beings coming together in the spirit of compassion. This video is inspired by our PBS series, Reconnecting Roots. Visit ReconnectingRoots.com to watch the full episodes or to check out our music and podcast. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe so we can keep making more. Thanks for watching.